These foot issues that a lot of us seem to be running into as we get older, they're no good. I had over 700 of you leave me a comment on my last shoe video suggesting brands that have been the most helpful in this battle to find comfortable footwear. So today, we're covering your top favorites. Hey friends, it's Angela, and apparently Bentley too. Wait a minute, let's go get him. Here he is with this new haircut. So good to see you all again today. And if it's your first time here, welcome, and thank you so much for stopping by. These foot issues are no joke. Apparently, there are a lot of us out there suffering from all kinds of different foot issues. So just a note before we get started here, all the brands that I'm sharing with you today, I have never tried before. These are all coming from your favorite suggestions that all the ladies shared in the comment section. So just know I'm giving you my initial opinion on these shoes, what the, I think the pros are and the cons of just wearing them for a short period of time. So why don't we get started with the top brand I heard the most of in the comment section, which is Vionics. Personally, I have heard of Vionics before, but I've never tried them for myself. So I really wanted to give them a fair try, so I ordered three different types of their shoes. Now these and all the other ones I'm gonna be sharing today, I actually ordered on Amazon. For me, it's just easier because if they don't work out, they don't fit right or whatever it is, it's just easier for me to go and return them to a UPS store or go to Kohl's and return them than trying to return them to each of the different brand stores on their own. So the first shoe we're gonna talk about today is their wedge. So what I found I really liked about these, I like the heel height, it's not too high. The top of it is a nice suede feel. It's a very lightweight feeling shoe. And I like this top strap here. It's got a Velcro strap so that you can adjust it however you need to, so it feels like it's very secure. This shoe came in several colors of this band on the top. This one is a gray, and it's got kind of like that alligator little print to it. The only thing I will say that I found to be a negative for me is that Vionics really have a lot of arch support. which It's a great thing to have, right? But I just felt like on this particular shoe for me, this arch support felt like a hard ball kind of pushing into the bottom of my feet. I think it's because I'm not used to a ton of arch support. And the funny thing is the other two Vionic shoes didn't do that for me, only these wedges. For those of you who are used to wearing Vionics, let me know if this is something that it's just you need to get used to. But if you're looking for a shoe that has a lot of arch support and a little wedge like this that you can wear with your cute little dresses or shorts, or even capris, things like that, this would be a really good shoe to check out. Next, let's talk about these sandals. Now, what I like about them, again, it's a very nice, soft, suede-feeling footbed. I like that it's got adjustable Velcro straps on the top and the bottom, so you can really adjust it to your foot. It does have arch support in here as well, just like the wedges, but to me, I didn't feel like the inside was pressing into the ball of my foot as much as the wedge was. So what I found that I wasn't liking as much about the sandal is it is a pretty heavy feeling shoe. Um, also, do you see the bottom here? Do you see all those ridges? When I walked, it almost feel like you're you're kind of walking over mini speed bumps every time that you took a step. The other thing is that they're not very flexible at all. There is no bend or give to these shoes. So just know that about these. They came in a few different colors. I love this lilac color, it's very pretty. But for me, I just didn't like the road bump feel when you walked and I didn't like the heaviness of the shoe. But as they say, Third time was a charm because these third Vionics are my favorite. So these are called Vionic Beach. And you know, I love my on tennis shoes for going out walking, but sometimes you just want a cute little tennis shoe, right? That's kind of more narrow, it's not as bulky, but still gives you a lot of comfort. So what I like about these, they're lightweight. The inside is completely lined with terry cloth, so it's a nice soft feel. It does have the arch support on the inside, but not as much as the wedges. It feels, it actually feels good when I put these on. You can kind of see on the inside where the arch support is, how it goes up a little bit higher, the base of the shoe, than on the other side. I also like that these shoes are no tie. 
So they're easy to slip on and off. They come in several different colors. And what's really cool is on the inside, they have a little Velcro strap that holds the tongue in place on both sides. So the tongue isn't going to kind of bunch down and you're gonna to have to dig it out every time. That's pretty cool. The other thing I want you to kind of take a look at, just so you're aware if you order these for yourself, the very top edges are a little bit kind of frayed, but that's the look. They're supposed to be that way. So if you get them, you're not going, oh my gosh, the shoe's all ripped up. That's how they're supposed to be. It's kind of like a beachy vibe to them. So honestly, with these Bionics, there are no negatives that I have about these. I love these, they're very comfortable, and I'm gonna be keeping these. The next brand that you guys recommended are these, is it Oofs? O-O-F-O-S. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right, but I had to try these out because a lot of you recommended these as well. Okay, we had to take a pause from this video to look up how you actually pronounce that. I think it's UFOs, but there were other people doing videos that were like pronouncing it one way and another, and I, I think it's UFOs. What I like about these, look at how flexible they are. They're very flexible, they're very cushy. The first thing I notice when I put these on is how darn cushy they are. It really feels like you are walking on a really thick, comfortable yoga mat. Normally, I don't like this little thing in between my toes because I've had experience in the past where when I walk, this thing jams in between my toes and it, and it doesn't feel good. But these do not do that. So I was really pleased about that. These fit really well on the top of your foot. They feel secure. It doesn't feel like they're gonna fall off your foot at all, even though I don't even have that issue with regular slides. But I know a lot of you mentioned that, that you have issues with that kind of strap. So this kind is gonna feel like more secure. It's not going anywhere on your foot. They definitely do have some good arch support on the inside here as well. Here's what the bottom looks like, just so you can kind of get an idea there. They had these on Amazon in a few colors besides the black, so if you're looking for something different, you guys hit the nail on the head on these shoes because they're very comfortable. I'm really glad that you guys suggested these. The next shoe I heard a lot about in the comment section were Skechers. You all seem to love your Skechers out there too. So I decided to try a pair of Skecher slides. This has got the Goga mat footbed to it, which feels like you're walking on a yoga mat as well. But honestly, it doesn't feel as soft and cushy to me as the Uoffs. But what I found I really like about these, um, the bottom, look at the tread on that. They've got a lot of good tread. I do like the Goga mat feel on the top. It feels very nice on your feet. They're very lightweight like that about them as well. And I like the little cross section straps that it's got going on, but you can't adjust them at all. So if you have a problem wearing this type of shoes because your feet slide out, you may not want these. Now, as far as arch support, there's not a lot going on in here, at least not in this particular slide. So if you really need a shoe with arch support, I would say Vionics and the Uoffs are gonna be your better choice. I love the floral little straps on here. Black and white is classic. It's gonna go with everything. So I can definitely see why you all were saying that Skechers is one of your favorites. The next shoe we're gonna talk about are Crocs. Everybody's heard about Crocs, right? Well, the shoes we're talking about today are a little bit different than their normal clogs, which I've had for years. I got a pair of platform wedges and a pair of croc tennis shoes. Have you guys even seen those? They're a little bit weird, but we're gonna talk about them. The croc platform wedge. These were very comfortable and I kind of thought they would be with this basic heel on them. I mean, it is thick. And while it is comfortable walking around, I didn't find it for me any more comfortable than wearing a regular croc clog. I'm not sure honestly, about these compared to some of the other choices. But I had to try them out because they just looked like they would be way more comfortable. Now these were a total wild card. I was like, Croc tennis shoes, how is that gonna go, right? You won't even find these in all the stores. They are very lightweight, which is great. They have a lot of breathability in there with all the holes in here. They do tie like a normal tennis shoe. They have a small art support on the inside, just a little bit. And on the footbed, it is cushy, like a normal croc would be. But for $60, $65 for these, compared to my on tennis shoes, which I know I can walk miles and miles in and not have a problem, they feel way better for a lot longer period of time. These are very interesting though, but ultimately, I don't know. 
I just don't know. This next shoe, a couple of you recommended these and because they were so unique looking and so different, I had to try them. They are called bubble shoes. Have you guys seen these? They kind of remind me of like, I don't know, a slide, but they're all these bubbles. And I thought, how is that gonna feel when you walk on them? It's gonna feel weird, right? Here's what I have to say about these. They are very comfortable, actually. But what I found for me is this top part here kind of was very constricting. It just felt like it hit at the wrong place on the top part, so every time my foot bent, it was kind of hitting in that wrong place. They're interesting looking, that's what I can say for sure. They were $27, they have a ton of colors in there, but I'm actually gonna say, if I had to pick between these and the ugly shoes, I'm picking the ugly shoes all day long. So you all have got a lot of great choices to start with here. But if you missed my video, watch this video next right here where I talked about my top five favorite choices for comfortable footwear. Until I see you next time, my friends, stay beautiful on the inside and out.